Right, hi everyone. Uh, just a quick, like, I'm going to ask a couple of people for reactions to what happened uh, last week. I don't have to remind you, surely, at this stage. So I got Raj with me because he hasn't been for ages. So I thought I'd catch Raj and uh, see what he feels like about what happened. So yeah, I mean, it's been ten months since I've been, but I thought I had to turn up just to kind of uh, see what's going on. I, I do, I do think the police is rolling this process. Um, you know, whatever we thought about Steve Barnes and stuff, you know, he at, was least, excellent. at least he like, it would communicate. What I was thinking the police have done here, they've actually let it escalate to the point that what happened on last Sunday. Now, for the grace of God, like, she was not there. Yeah, because Absolutely. if you look at the video, I mean, it's just literally like... Attempted murder. Literally, if the, if the, if the, if the umbrella wasn't there, the metal stick, it could have gone in her neck and she would have probably but died. Even in the eye, it would have gone through to her brain. Like yeah, it's, yeah, it could have killed her. So look, anyone saying it's, uh, you know, like, wasn't that serious, or <laughs> it's a setup. listen here, man. If it was you, you would have been talking about this. Yeah, exactly. If that was your sister or your mother or, or somebody, then uh, maybe they'd think on it different. But because they're secretly justified, Paul Williams, for example, um, utterly condemned the attack, but within six, seven, seven, to nine minutes he was saying that she's an extremist and he believes she wants to be killed yeah. so well, but it's always like, a but at the end exactly. of it and the thing is the way what I say to people is this I don't actually agree with what Hatton's doing per se but like, she shouldn't be physically attacked and she shouldn't be uh, let's say someone tries to kill her for what she's doing the point is she's broken no laws because they've arrested her enough times that if they could find a law to charge her with they would have done I've it heard, I've heard that only from a, a video called Christian Concern that they've been harassing her the police the police the Oh, have you not? Like, every time she's attacked or surrounded and yeah. they're chanting kill her or actual crimes, yeah. um, most times, I understand the, the tactic of removing the, the yeah. person who's at risk. It's called a part of least resistance. Yes. However, to arrest them when they, maybe potentially because she doesn't want to give them details, because she doesn't want to ever be doxxed, yeah. because of the violence. Things happen to her outside of the park that she doesn't really speak about, but that I can, they happen. Um, well, she's attacked more outside, I would say, than in. So the point is that, sorry, that to arrest her gives out such a wrong vibe and one of the police on camera yeah, it, from the yeah. week when she was yeah. being when we were kettled was saying uh, she's offended people we've removed her like and the thing is the police have to stay neutral publicly allegedly the law that's is what, that's allegedly what they should neutral, be doing yeah. now behind the scenes they might say something a little bit one on one exactly and that's what Steve Barnes would do you have a public figure face yeah. and you've got to do that the problem with here the police don't care about free speech yet. they don't Not care about these the, ones they don't no. Care about the safety of the regulars or people that come. Well, that's in, that's in why Mohammed Hijab. Is there something called preventing uh, a breach of the peace? Maybe that's why they're going. No, the section twenty section twenty nine J of the Public Order Act says the act cannot be used to um, prevent the insulting, ridicule, or haranguing of people based on their religious beliefs. It's in, there's judicial precedent that the person who feels they may be violent or is violent is the onus is on them to move away from the thing they find offensive and. That's outside the speaker's corner. So here, it's literally legislated that you can say what you like. As long as you're... If I tell him or give him an instruction to murder someone and I, I still have to genuinely believe he will follow it through, then I'm breaking the law. Yeah, I mean, that's like, the thing. We're in speaker's corner. We're not on the road. We're not on the road. We're yeah. not in someone's home. We're in here. Everybody that's walking that's what it's here for, literally. is voluntarily walking in and standing and listening. And this is the biggest issue about the park, that people think that they can uh, control it and restrict free speech because they don't like X, Y, Z, but they're okay with something else being said about another thing. My, I, I've said it before, Raj, but if you're not outraged by Nigerian Christians being dismembered and little girls with machetes hanging out of their heads and mass graves and rapes and being set on fire and buried alive, etc., I really couldn't care less about your library book issue. Like, if you're outraged by actual crimes, I mean, I don't like damaging books because I just like books. Nothing to do with the content. Mine can't. I wouldn't rip it up. I wouldn't burn it because if we if we negate history, if we pull down statues and forget our history, we're at more risk of repeating the same mistakes as opposed to, like, who cares about talk, being talk, offended? Talk the, uh, yeah. Who cares about being offended? Like, if you're easily offended, what no, you're no, doing no, in no, London no, no, to no, start no. with... There's nothing wrong with being offended. But buy yourself a twin set and some pearls. I'm offended a lot of times when I hear stuff. Yeah, but you're not but, out stabbing people, yeah, that's the thing, though. That's the thing, though. That's, that's the thing, though. You can be offended, but you don't then use violence It's just caused you to grow yeah. emotionally, to yeah. deal with these feelings of, like, hey, that really 
irritated me. How am I going to react as a human being rather than, you know, because me and my sister say someone could tell a coarse joke and I don't mind soon and she does. So clearly the offence isn't given, the offence is taken by her and not me. So if someone's offended, you just go but, but away. I do, I do realise one thing because I've had a lot of conversations with Muslims online. They don't understand how offensive it must be to an evangelical Christian that they're saying that Jesus didn't die. Oh, Jesus. I think they do. Oh, well, I they think say they, they do. Don't. They I say think they, they don't. What, Takia, you say? Yeah, but that's what they say. So I try to explain to them. I said, look. But then once you've told them, yeah. surely they cease immediately. Well, they don't. Because, oh, because they don't so believe it's offensive. So it's almost as if they're chatting yeah. waffle. Yeah. Got so, ya. So they believe that what they're saying is true. Yeah. So they'll go, <laughs> what is true? So it's not The offensive. only book in history that denies the crucifixion is the Quran. Yeah. That's it. So it must be true. So Everyone Christians, seems legit to I mean, me. I don't. I mean, no, the Sikhs are not mentioned in the Quran yet, apart from being idolatrous or whatever. But Christians Just are. So they, yeah, so they, they do have a right to, you know, The closest Christian. to you in in uh, what's name, or whatever the verse is, modine has got it as a, as a mating call, is uh, the Christians. Apart from he's abrogated by the verse that says, why don't you chop up, like, why don't you humiliate him and make him pay the jizya and they're the worst of all creatures and smite them in the neck and yada, yada, yada. Yeah, so I, I hope the police kind of, like, you know, get their act together because... You know, <laughs> How long you got? No, 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 Jesus no, will come but, soon. But, but I, will, I will say this, yes. the police need to be, uh, and I don't want to get full, I don't want to get a Arrested, but I need to be put over like a hot coal. Uh, he means metaphorically, metaphorically, obviously. They need to be held, They're held accountable. Feet over the fire. Feet over the fire. Sounds quite comfy if you're in a nice arm. And the thing is, I've been watching for the last couple of months here because I've not been here. Yes. And I can see. We've missed you. Yeah. Thank you. I'm here to save the day now. But the thing He's is, got his cape in his bag. Yeah. So the thing is, here, like, because of the police in action, because I was here when she originally felt they pushed her down. Yeah. Then they punched her. Yeah. They need to have booked the week before yeah. that some bird so slapped her. People are now thinking that a cocoon is an open season and nothing happens. Yeah, because happens. nothing happens. Yeah, and it hasn't. However, <laughs> the police are not actually the morons that they probably on purpose portray themselves to be, like in the Michael Caine version of Sherlock Holmes. So, I'm going to say that uh, there's many, 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 many cameras in London and without jeopardising anything whatsoever, I would say there's a jolly good chance that the guy's face has been already captured and memorialised on uh, police databases everywhere. Why don't one of you lazy officers run after him? Because when you're driving... Once Hashtag someone, donuts, you say. One, yeah, hashtag, once, once you drive... You're it was winning. raining, mate. They don't get paid oh, enough for that. On, Steve, you, Steve used to be on a bicycle. Steve would have just charged him, yeah. Dan. With his, Big up um, to Steve Barnes. Exactly. Oh, he's a, he's him, an absolute you know, I used to give him so much headache when he was here. Now that's he's not gone. like you. Yeah, that's <laughs> not moaning, moaning. No, I speak to him but regularly. Since, he's but right. since he's gone, I've kind of realised that, you know, you need a really good police officer here. I know. You need someone who actually cares about freedom of speech. So Steve was an absolutist when it came to that. And also that gives a shizzle enough to like just like give someone your card, take them for a coffee, yeah. like just get to know, you know, motivating well, factors. Or let me phone you whenever I want, which yeah. I used to. Exactly, he's changed his number. I used, no, I'm to, I used to phone him and say, look, yeah, because look, normally, you know, if someone told me something's going to happen on the weekend, I can phone up Steve and say, look, you know, I've got a feeling someone's turning up on Sunday. Yes. Can you just keep an eye out? Are they yeah. need, the police are literally, I mean, I know they're pretty like, you never see a policeman on foot where I live or anywhere else in London apart from here or outside of Buckingham Palace or the Houses of Parliament or wherever and they're a dying breed but well maybe out of a, like um, heart disease and obesity but the point is that they are not psychic they need people and it's not grassing if some if like put it this way if you thought that there was a child being sexually abused or a grandmother being held against her will and tortured you would I pray have no qualms in going to the old bill so it's just like that you're not lit you're not talking about people who are on benefits who are doing something like it's not petty stuff it's life and death which we saw with the greater god that had to is not without an eyeball or without half her face or dead quite frankly so yeah last words i uh, just want to say you know uh Patoon, like i said you know i don't always agree with what she's doing but she should be able to come here do what she's doing without her you know, uh, a, a life-threatening attack on her, which is unacceptable. Yeah. And if the police don't, you know, 
to really get to grips with what's going on here and put themselves in a situation where they understand that speaker's corner is instrumental in free speech. You see these days? That's, that's not part of the narrative, though. If you want to start saying that men cannot be women and little boys can't grow up to be beautiful princesses, then you're part of the problem. Clearly a Nazi. And uh, this place is there to defend the rights of everyone, including, like, us boring old, like, uh, science adherents. I think the Christians are the only people yeah, like to say this. Well, well the, no, the thing is that, um, like, yeah, it's, it, this place goes... I mean, it would take an act of Parliament, but it's not on. It's not on for a woman to be... It's not on for anyone to be attacked, but especially, like, a defenceless, under five foot three, like, tight, like against some big dude who's, like, pretty creepy when you look at him just standing stock still. And uh, big up to Soko Films for getting that angle, because it really shows the ferocity... I mean, by the grace of God. Yeah, the ferocity yes. of that attack. You couldn't see it on Let's yeah, Because the problem is the other side, you couldn't really see Exactly. It. Just like a scuffle. Yeah, yeah, it just like a scuffle. So, uh, I saw it online as well. Originally, when they only saw the other angle, I was nothing. As soon as I saw that angle, they're like, okay. So, oh, I can't watch it without physically flinching. Yeah, yeah. Like, I've got a friend who can't watch it without screaming. So, I'm going to wrap it up because it's a bit of a dark topic, but, yeah, yeah the feeling has been very pleasant this week. I didn't feel any tensions. People yeah. have mentioned them, but, but, yeah. All right, so, God bless everybody. Okay? Subscribe to, what's Raj your channel? Raj Speakers Corner. Raj Speakers Corner, R-A-J, Romeo, Alpha, Juliet. And, uh, yeah, God bless, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.